Today, portions include a 911 SC, a 928, a 930, a 996, a 996 Turbo, and a 996 GT2, a 986, a 997 GT3. On the Italian side, a 206 GT, a 550, a sign, and a special non-manual car, an F12 TDF. Hi there. In Porsche sales today on Bring a Trailer, an Arctic Silver 41,000 mile 2002 911C4S coupe sold for $43,000. The sale price is on the low side, but it seems to fit the car in its condition, which to me isn't as great as the low mileage would suggest. It's not a bad car. It's better than average, and it brought a better than average price. A Venetian Blue 1988 911 Turbo Coupe with 4,000 miles sold for $195,000. A fabulous car in great condition. This car was well sold, even with an accident history. I'll have more about this car in today's short video. A light bronze 1982 928 Vysak with unknown mileage sold for $22,000. The Vysak package was indeed a special option pack in 1982. It was a $6,000 option at a time when you could buy a new Honda for $6,000. This example is in decent shape, but the interior has not weathered well, and it sports many shades of brown. It was supposed to be only a two-tone brown. This was a fair sale. A triple black 10,000 mile 2004 911 Turbo Cabriolet sold for $79,000. Nearly a full price sale, that is, dealership retail price. This nice car includes sport techno wheels painted body color on some surfaces very uncommon. These wheels were the widest and lightest ever fitted to a turbo. Very nice. Another turbo, this a modified Carrera white over black turbocharged 2003 Boxster S 4 liter sold for $40,500. Equipped with a bored out turbocharged 911 engine reputed to produce 620 horsepower, this is a beast. The parts utilized and the work performed appear to be top shelf, hence the high sale price. Another well-sold car. A silver 1979 911SC with 113,000 miles from a great seller sold for $57,000. A little better than average SC that sold at a little better than average price. Another Carrera white car. This, a 26,000 mile 2010 911 GT3 sold for $160,500. A nice car, very clean, and on the edge between well-purchased and a fair sale. An Arctic Silver 8,000 mile 2002 911 GT2 sold for $236,000. Offered on Bring a Trailer two years ago, unsold with a max bid of $118,000, and later purchased by the current seller, this car was well sold today. Only 3,996 GT2s were produced, 456 horsepower. I like the power, but I don't like the front end styling. I think it looks like an aftermarket kit. I prefer the turbo and C4S look like this from today's C4S. Or take a look at this turbo, a 2003 911 Turbo Coupe with 107,000 miles that sold for $50,337. I think this is a real bargain, even with the miles and the non-Porsche wheels. On the Ferrari side, a red Rosso Corsa 16,000 mile Euro 2000 550 Marinello sold for $191,000. A few days ago, we had a silver 550, and it sold for $40,000 less. Today's car was well sold. A red Rosso Chiaro 1969 Dino 206 GT sold for $620,000. A beautiful car. This 206 was number 140 of the 150 made. This car was well presented and well sold. A double-sided, illuminated Ferrari service sign measuring 26 by 38 inches sold for $15,500. Double-sided signs are less common than singles. Still, this sign was well sold. Lastly, a non-manual 2017 F12 TDF sold for $1,389,000. Sticker was $619,112. No, not a manual. However, the graphics make it favor the look of a transformer vehicle. That may be dismissive, but it's not far from being right. Two manual Porsches on Bring a Trailer failed to meet reserve pricing today, September 9th. If you're enjoying this content, hit that like button. And to ensure that you don't miss tomorrow's show, go ahead and subscribe.
That's a wrap for today. Thanks for watching. See you tomorrow. Be well.